Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm back with the big box that I said was coming in the mail. I opened the ca campus casual outfit and I'd said it was like the smallest AG box I'd ever seen. Um, it's because they shipped it, I'm guessing from a separate warehouse because it sold out like the next day. Anyway, I got the second half of my order. And I just opened it up, and the first thing I noticed was there's no catalog in this box. And my only guess is that um, with Molly's archival and everything, they didn't want to put one of the like Spring Caroline catalogs in, but they didn't want to send it out and have the Farewell Molly catalog in there because I was anxious to see if I'd get a catalog like that. But the first thing I noticed was there was no catalog. Let me take out the payment sheet and everything. And it just had the regular Sage thing and the mini mag in there. And um, just a little bit before I open these up, I tend to collect, I guess, backwards maybe than some people. Like when the new releases come out, um, and I know other adult collectors do this kind of too, um, I look to see the things that are probably going to be retired and I buy those as opposed to getting new things right off the bat because I know I can always buy the new things later. So let's see. The first thing that I got was the school backpack set because um, I liked the school backpack better than the new one. Once I saw the pictures of the new one that they were bringing out, I just like the colors better. Let's see. So, my understanding is once they put something else, like new out, like the new release backpack, they don't carry the older style. So I wanted to get the older style before I couldn't anymore. So here is the backpack. It's very cute. This is actually Velcro, even though it has a snap. It has the Inner Star U patch, and it just opens up. I can't open it with one hand. But it has cute little mesh pockets, and I believe it has a mesh pocket on the inside, too. So that's the backpack. And then it came with a little notebook. A little science book that is adorable. This is what I think I wanted the most out of this app was the science book. You can actually read it and it's actually, I think, an actual textbook um, that real girls use. And this notebook I don't open up, but it just has like lined paper in it. It's very cute, bad though. And then it has a water bottle and I believe the top twists but it doesn't come off. Has little like pinwheel designs. And then the three mechanical pencils. So that was the backpack set, and I'm very glad that I got it. So now I have like a couple years before I have to buy a new one. And then the next thing I got was. The sweet, you probably can't see it, sweet school dress. And this was another outfit, kind of like the campus casual outfit that I figured was, it was getting to like the bottom of the list um, on the website. And when things tend to end up there, that means they'll probably be retired soon. So I wanted to get it before I missed out because I missed out on the flower garden outfit. And that kind of makes me sad. Um, anyway, so it has... The Proud Charm. And adorable. I love the plaid. Um, my son's going to be going to like a Lutheran school and they have um, the girls wear plaid jumpers. So I'm just kind of thinking ahead to my own daughter. Like when she starts, um, she'll probably have a plaid jumper. So the plaid's very cute to me. And then it comes with little ballet flats with little bows and these are like knee socks I believe when you put them on magenta 
and a little hair clip. And I tend to like to get like the dressier, the nicer dresses and things. Like I make a priority to get those. Okay, the next thing I got, and I just been wanting to round out the new releases, kind of too, from last spring before the fall releases came out. And this was one of the last things I hadn't gotten, and it is the I Love Pets pajamas. Because I do love, the things I love most are like the dressier dresses and the pajamas. Okay, so it comes with another Proud Charm. I'm going to have to see if those are the same. And the top is very cute. It has licorice and coconut. A little American Girl thing at the bottom. This Velcro is part of the way down. The pants are... one of the cutest parts of the outfit. They are so darling. And little heart slippers. And two little scrunchies. This kind of, like the setup of the outfit, just the style a little bit, and that it has pets, it reminds me a lot of the coconut pajamas, the Christmassy looking ones, and I really liked those. So I wanted to get these because these like look almost Valentine's Day-ish to me. And the last thing I got was um, something to put back for my daughter. And I'm such a nerd. I'll show you what I when I get packages what I look for. Um, this actually has the label. Not just the label on the bottom of the box, but the one in the front. Like the clear sticker, which tells me this was probably severe, like overstock from the stores, because only the stores have the labels in front. So this was probably at one time in the store, and they pulled it, and they had the huge sale. So it is the um, Christmas dress for the bitty baby, and I had already shown you I got the 18-inch version, so I thought I thought it'd be cute for the bitty. There she is to have. Um, the same dress as the big dolls. So this is Bitty Bear Snowy Sweets, and it is adorable, the illustrations. Something my daughter would love to read with me. It's very cute. And it comes with the dress, which is very, very similar um, to the 18-inch version. It comes with thick black tights. Now the tights look Definitely like bitty tights. They're a little bit different, um, you know, length than for the 18 inch dolls. The shoes, which are plain, they don't have a bow like the other version. And then um, just a plain, it looks like a black velvet bow and the headband. So those were the things that I got. I really wanted to put together an order in order to get that backpack and that school dress before they um were gone so those are the outfits i'm working on my molly tribute i'm going to try to get a molly video together there's molly's room right now um empty because all my girls i'll pan up here i am dressing in their molly or in my clothes except for caroline she still hasn't gotten changed yet and there are right up there in kit scene Molly and Emily trying not to film up Molly's skirt, um, <laughs> but she's just a doll. Um, but yeah, I want to do a tribute to Molly and get all my girls changed. It's just a process, and I still have nine outfits left that nine Molly outfits that I have to find girls for. So there's a couple girls. I have a couple girls upstairs to change. Caroline needs to get changed. Rebecca's already dressed and the still Marie Grace haven't been changed yet, but I'm hoping to have that video up and ready soon and then I'll just do like a mini review of the outfits because I have a lot of people asking and then I'll try to do a separate review with their clothes. Um, so this video is getting pretty long, but I'm hopefully be back with that video soon. Bye!